Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be my uh, day 11 of hashtag 31 days of creep. I have been out of it. I have been trying to do things. This is not my 31 days of creep. This is what I had in my mind yesterday that I was going to do. And before I even made a video, I kind of drew it out because I wanted to scale it down. This is how I do things. It's how my brain works. But I wanted to show you pictures of um, things that I had in my head as these wonderful, wonderful things, and they just would not come to fruition on my paper. Let me just show you. <clears throat> this was <coughs> going to be, first I started it as I was going to make a baby doll head, and I wanted it to be all crackled and gross and everything like that. And in my head, it was fantastic. I put it on paper. I said, what the heck is this? And I couldn't even go further with it. Um, then I started videoing this and I was 25 minutes in and I said, what the hell is it? It has a beard. I don't want this. The, the paper's thinner, a thinner paper. So it didn't accept the watercolor right. And it wasn't even going. I wanted it to be cracks and I was going to do all this really cool stuff that I had in my head. You can see it didn't work. Um, so then I stopped the video on that. Then what was the other one? Then I had a doll that I had made uh, a long, a while ago, a few years ago, and I thought, I want to get this on paper. I want to do it. I want to put it down. Uh, I started doing it. I decided to make her neon, and then I thought, what the hell is this? I don't even have a freaking clue of what this is, and I can go on and on and on. So, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Sometimes things come to my head, and I can get them right down on paper, and other times they just they just won't come to my head. So I know using this paper is not uh, the best for using with different medias like watercolor and that kind of thing. So it was probably my fault. But I just I just had a really bad day yesterday. A very 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 bad day. Um, so it just wasn't it just wasn't working for me. So today I'm gonna try something else. Now these are you can I love these I love these and I clearly don't use them enough in my videos. I used to, but I don't. These are chalks. Now I know they're pretty uh, pretty bad because they've been dropped. I use them like crazy. You can see like there's certain ones that I just use the heck out of. And what they come with, which I don't understand why that one's not there, but they come with these roach clip uh, things. They're like this and, um, you know, you put your little cotton on there and you get your things. And then I have, wait, these go in here. I'm drawing here. Then I have these ones, which are metallic and creamy. Now these are from Pebbles Incorporated. I got these, oh gosh, I don't know, at a craft store. Had to be AC Moore and Michaels. I always use coupons. Um, I'm sure if you've watched any of my older videos, you probably have seen my obsession with these. And I have another two sets somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. But these are just chalk and you can use, you know, your pastels. You can use whatever you want. So I thought, all right, well, I want to do, let's see if I can get uh, kind of what I want to do. And hope my, these kittens quit attacking me because they're really getting on my nerves. All right, so first I'm going to draw. I want a regular kind of face. So I'm going to start kind of very, I'm going to do lightly. So I should probably move in a little bit. And my camera's going to go in and out till I get something on this paper because it's white paper and that's just the way it's going to be. Don't leave me a comment of how my camera went in and out in the beginning because I know. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of sketch that in and go like this. And I'm not really going for too much of realism. Oh my gosh, you can hear the kittens behind me. They are maniacs. And then I'm just going to do a little for now, little lips, and I'll get to them later. I'm just going to sketch them in so I know where they're at. And then I'm going to do kind of like the chin and a face. Kind of leave it at that for now. Then I'm going to take, I should have, maybe, you know what, maybe I'll do, wait, I'll save that for something else. Maybe I will make it the whole page like a big face so then I can really 
um, do what I want to do. Maybe that'll make it better because I'm working smaller. Maybe I can do it a little bigger. Let's just kind of sketch that face on. Not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to do the eyes about here because that'll just give me a little bit more uh, play time. I'm just very, I don't know what's going on with me lately, honestly. Not, uh, not doing real good. All right. All right. Very light there. And then just a, uh, what the hell is that? I'll just do her lips right there just as a as a quickie because I really want to work on the uh, face cracks because that's kind of what I want what I really really want all right so I'm going to put in the eyelids first I'm just going to kind of sketch them in and then I'm going to add eyes and you see I'm doing it very fast I'm not worrying about oh is it on is it not on does it look normal I know I don't care because I'm just playing all right, so now I'm going to first use my uh, regular chalk, the chalking set. And I'm going to take my little clip and I'm going to go in and I want underneath the eyes to, I'm going to start with like a purple and I'm going to do a dark purple and I'm just putting it on like that. And I'm not going to use any acrylic paint. I'm not going to use any paint. I don't believe. I think I'm going to try to do all this with this because not only does that make me try harder. I mean, she might end up with who knows what color face, but we'll see. <laughs> There's a white here. I can make it gray, but I'm going in first with this because I want this around the eyes. Okay. And you can use this. Let me tell you, go to the dollar store and buy kids chalk. It has all the colors, you know, you can get or for outside or whatever and just use it and play. You could use your, you know, your paintbrush and get and pick up, uh, uh, you know, chalk or you can use Q-tip. Q-tip would work great. That's all this is really is, is like a Q-tip top. Or you can use fabric, whatever, whatever you want. Now I'm going to wipe this off because I'm going to just try to use the same one because I'm going, you know, that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm going to go in and I'm going to make her eyes brown. Just a little bit of brown. I love taking items like different art items, whether it be paint, pencils or whatever, and just using them in a way that maybe, you know, makes me think or I have to, I have to think because how am I going to get it? You know, what am I going to do? I don't know. All right, so I'm doing, oh my goodness, those cats, okay. So, and I'm just gonna do a little of the darker color on the outsides. I like that. I like that. Thank YouTube, I don't know, if any, for any of you guys who do videos, let me know, did YouTube change your uh, settings for anything because my, Likes and dislikes aren't coming up. I don't know what the heck. I'm going to have to go in. I, my daughter told me the other day, and then I was looking on hers, and it didn't come up, and then I came in here and totally forgot to look. But let me know. Are the likes and dislikes showing? I, I don't have a clue. I don't change those because I don't care. Uh, like, I like to see what they are, so I know what you guys like. So it's not like I'm, you know, I just don't know why the heck it's happening like that. All right, so... I have that, but I want to bring the purple down a little bit more, but I want to mix some white in it. So I'm going to take just some white on here and I'm going to just bring it down here. I, the only thing I might have to use on here is pen for the veins, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And I'll just kind of doing this around here because I want to do some more of the purple, but I don't want it to be as dark. I 
think I'm going to add a little bit of red too in a second. Okay. I'm sorry if you can hear stuff behind me. It's the cats. I'm going to add a little bit of red in there. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah, the cats are having fun. Goodness gracious, where the heck did that word come from? Oh my gosh. Normally not how I I talk, but hey, goodness gracious. And I do, I, I don't know why I am attracted to like faces of a lot of broken faces. Um I don't know why I do sometimes. I guess because it must be how I'm feeling at the time. Because I want to do, you guys are doing such great stuff, like haunted houses and all kinds of this creative stuff. And I'm just like, I just like dark. I, I just like broken things. If that even makes sense. I don't know. All right. So for the nose, I want to keep that fairly white. or gray, whatever my main color is going to be. Okay, I'm going to go more white. And I'm going to go in here, because I know I want shading under the nose. And a little bit, I'm just using white kind of like as a, as an eraser or not even an eraser. It's not going to erase it, but just as a blender, I guess. the lips to be, let's just go for it and do it black. Now I'll probably go over it with the metallic, uh, um, chalk, you know, but I'm going to add a little bit of a Okay, now I'm going to work on the face. So I'm going to take some light gray. Kind of frame out. I haven't put the eye, eyebrows in yet, but I'm just going to kind of work with all this extra chalk that's coming off of my my thing. Add it as kind of like shadow. So I'll go back in with white. some white and I'm going to go in and just lay that down to get some of that. I still want the gray, but I don't, I don't want it so dark in those certain spots, but who knows? Maybe that gray will be too dark for me to blend out. One never knows until you play and do it, but whatever. All right. So I, I do want this is like the cheekbone, and this is like the cheekbone. A little bit. Yeah. I'm going to go back in with some white. Now, I think there's white in the other one, too, on the creamy. It's like a silver, but I don't know if I would want to use that for the face. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to see if an eraser will erase this, because I can't, I honestly can't remember. Because I want a little more highlight on the nose, but let's see. Yep. I work God, I work God. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. And I'm just going to kind of erase some of this just to lay. I'll go back over it, but I want to lay some of that light in there. And again, a little bit more here. Push a little harder. Okay. 
because then I'll go back over it and then it just won't be as dark. I won't push as hard. It still gives that little bit of, you know, a little bit. We'll see. And then I'm going to go over again. This is just like coloring and I love it. A little bit down here, a little bit of gray, a little bit of white. And I won't put the eyebrows in until um, I use the metallic. Oh, you're biting my foot. Okay, so that is kind of where I'm at with that for the second. I want a little more, I want a little more purple, but I don't want to go too, I don't want red purple, I want blue purple. Maybe I'll just take it down and blend it. Not giving me what I want, or what I really, really want. for that. She has a quite a big chin there. That's enjoyable. But it's too late for me to kind of cut that out, but I can make the lips a little bit bigger. Let me see. Kind of like that. Give them a little bit more shape. Okay, so now I want to kind of go in and shade with some of the others, the metallic stuff. Just trying to get down out. Just want to make sure I have all this kind of blended the way I want for now. that in here. Close that for now. And let's see what we got in here. All right, will you come up or no? You're going to come up? All right. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little fuzzy fuzzy and these are what the colors look like. Look how pretty they look. I'm not into too many frosted eyeshadows, but I don't know. I'd be smearing them everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to go in. Let's see how this, this might be a total fail. I probably should try it up here first to kind of wipe it off because I really want it to be dark here. And this could totally screw up because I'm putting it on chalk where I probably should have put this first, but hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm just going to kind of rub it out and let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay. It's a lot darker than I wanted, but that's all right because I'm going to. I can always add some more. Uh, all right, a little bit more. Let's do on this side a little bit. I might have dipped too much. I might have dipped too much. I might have dipped it too much in that. Okay. Let's hope I put this up. 
have to because I haven't. Everybody's doing such, such stuff, and you guys are keeping up with it. And I'm just been I've been really stinking on it lately. So I'm gonna take some of a darker gray, and I'm gonna kind of run it down here, and then up here, kind of blend it out. I've never drawn a face with these before, so <laughs> please forgive me. And then I kind of want to do the same thing here. Just to give that illusion. I just want to blend it a little better. A little shadow under here. Okay. Now I want to take a little bit of, oh my goodness, I broke it. <laughs> my roach clip broke. Uh, okay. Take a little bit <clears throat> of this brown. Let me see what this brown's like, because I want to get in here. Just add a little bit. Although I like the way the eyes were, but I just want them to be a little bit browner. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Although the gray, the gray I like too, but you know. Okay, Walking Dead's on tonight. Oh, that's exciting. So exciting. All right. Yeah, I like the freaked out eyes. I'm gonna have to put more black and some red in there. And I want to draw, you know what I'm gonna do, let me see. I don't have any special purple here. So I would love to bring that down a little bit more, but I wonder if I brought it, huh. I'm thinking for a second. I wanna draw how I, how I feel <laughs> today. But am I going to use paint or am I going to use a little bit of a pen? That is the question. I think this might be too, too much to do with what I want to do. Let's see. I'm going to just kind of brush that off a little bit because I want to have, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more, too much, but I can just lay where I want it to lay. At least that'll give me a lay of the land. Get it? Lay. I'm putting it down. Lay. I don't know what the heck that means, Cal. Let's just move on. Okay. I'm going to dot some of this in here. And I don't want an opaque. I just kind of want to Lay that in there, just so it looks like it's a little bloody. I am going to trace out the eyes. That I probably will do. But I need to figure out how to... Okay, so I want to shade this a little bit more here. So I'm going to take a little black, wipe some of it off, and I want to... Might not be the best tool to shave, 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 shade with. All right, just kind of outline that. Okay, now let's see. I don't know if I'm going to keep that there or not, but I'll leave that there. I want to do her eyebrows. They should be black as well, Cal. Okay, so let's go in for a little bit more black. And lay them in. A little bit more. Like that. Just 
Try this one. Be like her eyebrows, and then I gotta figure out how am I gonna do. All right, let me think. Now I'm gonna get my pen. I don't know. I'm really winging it. I'm not gonna lie. A little cranky today. Okay. So first, I know I wanna go over and outline the eye like that. And I'm just going to go with, I think I'm just going to stick with the black and outline the eye and color in the pupil. Doing the same thing here and I'm not worrying if they're even or whatever. I really don't care right now. I just wanted to make art and I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Okay, so we have that, and then I'm gonna put the eyelids in just, and then I can bring that down more the the purple one. I'm so, I don't know why I like to outline things, but I do. And I don't even know, you know, should I be? Maybe not, but I don't care. I like to outline things. I think it's a, a, um, a, uh, not an OCD thing, but it's like a thing. I, I just, it's meditative to me. I, I don't know. I wish I could explain myself to you guys, but I can't, but it just does something for me. <laughs> no, I don't quite know what, but it does. And then here, I think I'm going to just use my little bit of shadow. But that might be a little too dark. Let's see if I can get that off because I'm not really digging on that. Now that'll be a little bit better. Now I'll go back in and take some black and gray and just fix that. All right. Mm. Yeah, you can use your finger too. How do you like that? see how I can do this. Now I might be able to, let's take a paint pen and see if this will work. I haven't even done the hair yet, but I'm just playing with the face. This is my Sharpie paint pen. Uh, I love these. I love the Liquitex ones too. I got. Okay. I don't know if these are going to run enough. So I'm going to let me do one and see if I can get it to work. No, I got to drag it down a little bit. A little bit. 
but I want this kind of in here, but I don't want it too much. But I think the pen's going to be too much, let's face it. I might have to draw some veins in there, but I want it to be bleeding from there, so I'm just going to go for it. Who cares? Because that's where I want it bleeding from. Get this to run. Okay. Oh, I think I hit my camera. I'm sorry. It's gonna put like little little drops there. And I want some drops here. Don't exactly know why it's dripping there, but it is. And my stomach's growling and I just ate. I blew on it, just so you know, just to make it run a little bit. And you know what? I think I'm going to line this with and it doesn't have to be perfect because, well, the eyes are bleeding. She's looked like she's had a rough one. I wonder if I could, let me see if I do this with a pencil, if I could trace over it. I wonder if I do a uh, scar here. Let me see if I can draw that in and then make it bleed. Run the pencil, I mean, run the marker. Yeah, on both sides. Like that. Maybe that'll bleed. Will you bleed too? Let's see. I know. I'm lifting my pencil, my paper up. I know. I'm sorry. Like that. And then I need something ripped apart on her neck. So. I wonder if we do a scar like that and go in with this maybe. Let go with our paint pen. Yeah, hey, yeah, go. Yeah, like that. And then, yeah, blood. Gotta have drippy blood. And blood there. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, I just squirted. Blah, look at me bleeding. Oh no. All right. Okay. I know I'm talking low probably and I'm just, you know, I'm just, please forgive me. I just wanted to come on here and talk through this one. Um, I would love to do veins. I really would. I really, really, really would. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I want a red, like a thin red I think this might be too thick. I need a smaller, smaller one. Cause I want to have like veins down in here. Let's see. They all kind of break off each other. Yeah. 
it would be better if it was a little thinner, but we're going to do Such is life. Oh, I could have used my chalk markers because those turn to be thinner. Okay, I'm not going to give her too much. I'm going to kind of leave it like that, and I'm going to kind of kind of scribble this in a little bit to make this a little darker. Okay. All right. Now I just got to think of hell. What kind of hell? What kind of hell? All right. I want her eyebrows to be a little thicker. But that would have to mean that I used a marker that worked. Goodbye marker. All right. You guys saw it. I threw it away because it's just not working. All right. Um, will you work? You're going to be too thick. I know it. I can just feel it. All right, you worked a little bit better. Okay. All right. So now the hair, the hair, the hair, the hair. What color hair should she have? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, she needs a highlight in the eyes because. What is she dead? Got it? Cause she's all right. All right. I'm just gonna give her a little little highlights. Nothing major. And, and people always ask me, why do you do that? I do it so it's not as bright white. It kind of like, I don't know. It kind of like puts it there, but not really. Don't ask. It's just what I do. I'm a weirdo. Are you just figuring that out? And I think I'm gonna use. Huh. What color? Green, maybe? Come on, maybe I should just go with gray. Let's just go with the gray. I'm just going to squirt some gray here because I really just don't even know what kind of hair I want to do. Because I really don't know. All right, and I'm just going to use my, uh, this brush. Just because I'm not really kind of see where I'm going with that. I'm going to kind of. And this is the Deco Art, Deco Art um, Americana Multi-Surface Satin. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I don't care. I'm just playing here, so. I just wanted to have a little bit of hair. I didn't even shake it, which you should really shake it before you, before you use it. So all those things settle all nicely and shiny. Obviously, I'm not going for the hairdo of the day. All right, that's all I'm doing. That's her today. That's hopefully gonna do something where I can at least get back on the bus for this. But that's it. I just wanted to play and do, you know, just draw and try to get something out today because it has just not uh, not been my weekend. So I can't wait to see what you guys do and I will see you in my next video. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and I love you guys so very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.